Time to hit one of my go-to lakes I haven't even been to this year. And it's going on July. I haven't been there yet. So we're going to go there. And I brought some live bait because we picked some up the other day. Never used it. Ran out of time. I don't even know why we didn't use it. We just, oh, it was, we picked it up when we was, gonna, we was testing out the... Uh, Excursion, I think the name of it is. Excursion, excursion kayak. That, it, which really works well. I really like it a lot. At least the one time we took it out, I like it a lot. So anyway, we picked up some bait on that day and we never used it. So I, wanna, I don't want to throw it out. or yeah, I want to use it. at least a couple of them. I got 18 Canadian crawlers. Might as well use at least a couple. So I put a spin casting reel in the boat. And I might try for a couple of... Uh, sunfish out this lake, fish, fish deep this time of year. Okay, this took like uh, 45 minutes to an hour to launch, and it wasn't because there was anybody at the dock, okay? <laughs> this is a good... It's because of my being a dumb ass. Yep. I, I, I put my plug in like I always do, and I was just... I wasn't even paying attention to it. I just put my plug in the boat and then went to park. I come back to the boat and my bilge is going really strong out the side of the boat. I go, yeah, you know, that's odd. Did I have my boat out in the rain or something? I don't remember that. But it was, it was going good. So I opened the back end of it here. Yeah, right here. You can still see there's a little bit of water down there. Anyway, I opened the back end of it. Let me get this closed. See, if I'd have took off, that would have been in the lake. So I opened the back end of it, and it was just filled with water. The whole thing was full with water, and it started coming up here. See where it's wet on the floor there? See how it's all wet? I was like, holy crap, I got a major incident here. So I... I ran and got my trailer and backed it up. I, I got to get this boat out of the water before it sinks right there. I've seen a lot of those YouTube videos where they call them, you know, dumbass boaters and stuff like that. They're out there. And I was just making sure no one was looking. So, I, even though I didn't think at that time it was my fault. So, so there's a guy, he's a mechanic from the marina down the road. And he showed up, he wanted to launch a pontoon boat for some customers. He says, what's the problem? Well, I told him, I said, I gotta, you know, I was trying to crank that boat out onto the trailer and it was just, it had a significant amount of water in it, let's just say. So he looks in the back of the boat. I said, what, did I forget to put my plug in? I think I put it in. He goes, no, you put it in all right. He says, the only problem is, is you put it in where your live well your live well water is supposed to come out not where yeah 
not where you're supposed to put it because there's two holes back there one for the live well drain and one to plug your boat up so it doesn't sink yeah guess which one i put it in hey you know what <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not afraid to admit my mistakes and you know hindsight is always comical but all's well that ends well look at that wet spot it, all right, then there's the guy that helped me. He's coming out now. Now we're going to do the, the bass thing, just for fun.
big old rock bass. Catching walleyes is hard. Middle of the day. I haven't heard any lightning, heard lightning. I haven't seen any lightning or heard any thunder. Nice fish. When you're out on your ship and you feel rain, look all around you. Because it's coming. That's where I need to go. That's where the storms are coming. So, let's go. Coming. Yourself? Pretty good. Getting off in the nick of time, he thinks. I think so. <laughs> yeah. Looks like a little wind with that one. Yeah.
coming fast. Well, that was a pretty good day. In days past, I would have stayed through this storm, the incoming storm, I'd have stayed through it. Yeah, you only have so much vacation time left, you know, you, you gotta make the most of it, but heck, you know, when you live here, what's the hurry, right? You just come back whenever. <laughs> so the fishing wasn't that good today, and I, you know, kind of surprised me but this is the first time I fished this lake this year again this is Lake Edward and I was fishing more or less for walleye I did a lot of uh, Lindy rigs with crawlers you know bouncing along the bottom I had you know a few taps but heck for all I know that just could have been a weed everyone's been talking about how great the walleye fishing is this year here on this lake so you, you hear it through the grapevine but not so much for me so at the very last minute you know I started plugging a little bit for bass you, you don't want to get skunked you know you don't want to get nothing you got to get something even if it's just a bass yeah right and that that's fun I yeah I'm not much of a walleye fisherman anyway but every once in a while I like to give it a go so anyway where was I? Oh yeah, uh, we we didn't we didn't sink our ship, which was good because I didn't even know that it had an automatic bilge like that. You know, for the price I paid for the boat way back then, you you, you know, it it makes sense. You know, I didn't have the uh, accessory power button on either. It just automatically did it. It just that's what teed me off to that there's a problem. All this water is being pumped out the side of the the bilge there <laughs> so, yeah. yeah you know yeah i would have you know hindsight if i'd have sunk my ship i'd have been pretty ticked off but we didn't sink our ship so anyway we made the most out of the day and we we didn't uh just pack up and leave because we had a bad start so hey you guys thanks for watching see you later